Hey, what do you know? I can see my house from here. Hey everybody, it's BC here and welcome to another episode of Grounded. Oh jeez, you scared me. Little ants, I love it. Get to go around and get gather me food. Go around and kill these little weevils for me, and then I cook the meat, and I can uh, use the noses for something, but I gotta get some grub to actually make some proper armor. Uh, I have been a little bit busy trying to gather up some resources. I came back to the mysterious machine here, and I want to sort of get myself situated before I start going to do more adventuring and stuff like that. Uh, as, you see in the, uh, as you see in the upper right there, there is actually an option, called, a feature they have called Peep. Have and it's basically the beast area in the game, and it lets you actually... You know, click on a creature figure, the and then what it'll do. That's not what I want to do. Get rid of this. We're going to put waypoints on, too. We can actually... No, eat. There we go. Uh, got to actual, actually peep it. I think they rechanged that. I'm not sure. Uh, where's that gnat? I think I can do the same thing here. And then, if we get out of here, go into... Our data, and it'll actually tell us the creatures that we find. It'll tell us the weaknesses, the resistances, different things. So these are just past harmless creatures, as it says. Uh, when it gets into things like the wolf spiders, you can find out that certain aspects, like we got over here, we got mints, and that'll actually give sort of like a call it an elemental, elemental attack. And there's like mint, there's sour, there's salty, and stuff like that. But anyways, uh, I want to go ahead and uh, start building up a bit of a shelter here. I think maybe somewhere around here is good. I'm actually going to get rid of this. Okay. And uh, go from there. So I also found this, and it's actually pretty cool. A little freestanding lamp. Uh, it's pretty handy, but we do have some building options in here. If we uh, go in here. Uh, I do believe I had to start with the foundation, so we'll go in here into bases. Now there are different types of walls. There's uh, a lot of grass wall stuff. There's also stem walls. I like the stem walls, but the stems are kind of hard to find because there's only dandelions. Until I can upgrade my ra my axe at tier two and actually cut these things down, these weed roots, and uh, they're probably going to yield more lumber. Uh, and then we do have a grass floor. I don't know if there's anything else other than the grass floor. There's also I haven't got yet, there's clay as well, but uh, we'll get into that eventually. So, somewhere in here is scaffolding. I believe this is what we need. Okay, so I actually have to grab a whole bunch of this. Take that off. I like the, I like the storage uh, capacity, but this is the maximum of the grass. I was hoping it was stacked a little higher, but that is not the case. Alright, so we'll go ahead and uh, we'll build this. Uh, now, I don't know how high I could build this. I guess that's the limit right there. Uh, I'd like to have it close to the machine, but I also want to make sure that no nothing can actually access it besides me. Uh, let's see, let's see if I rotate a little bit here. Hmm. Let me look around and I'll be right back. Okay, so here's what I'm going to go with, and I think for now I'm going to stick with the, the grass walls, just because, uh, yeah, it's going to take forever for me to try to find enough dandelions to build my house. I probably end up getting killed in the process. <laughs> I'm trying to do it. Anyway, uh, so let's go up here and... Uh, oh, I missed. It's a problem when you're small, you can't jump. Okay, so there we have it. So, um... Hmm. Maybe I will put one of these here. And then we'll get some stairs on the side. With uh, grass stairs. Oop. Go on both sides here. Alright, let me fin- uh, I guess we can get the walls in while we're up here. Oh, the floors, I mean. Maybe not. Uh, yeah. Anyway, let me get the floors in and I'll be right back. Okay, so there we go. Look at that. Oh! My god, it scared me. I have no idea if that thing will actually try to pick me up, but uh, keep an eye on him. Okay, so we're going to go with a uh, grass floor. Fairly simple. I did actually know you could uh, go into build mode without actually having the resources on you. So I can do that. 
And then we'll go in here. And we'll go uh, glass wall. I'm going to have to get more dandelions. I'm not exactly sure what the arrow means. If that's supposed to be facing out or what. But we will do it. I'll do that. I'll actually go right across because I like having windows. I like to see who's coming at me. Uh, see if I need to be prepared. Uh, at the same time, too. Uh, uh, if the spider can get in, at least he'll be able to get out. Then for our door, we do have... Uh, I think there's only one door that I've seen. Now, there's a glass door we could use. I think I might want to go with a sturdy door. I'll do that. Then we put a sturdy door in there. Place that. Like so. And... Look at these noises I'm hearing. Is that actually the crow making that noise? I have no idea. Anyway, uh, let me put, put this together, or I'll bring you back when something goes wrong. I don't trust them. Okay, just about done uh, the walls here. Just cutting uh, a, couple, a couple more planks down. I have to go brave in that direction over there to get um, more weed stems. Uh, last time I went into that area, uh, I ran into some uh, web, web uh, orb weavers, that's the actual name of them, and uh, they decided to pay me a visit, and that didn't go too well. I do know that I want to try to get some silk eventually, so I can uh, make things like do collector, and uh, eventually get into a bow, because I was going to try to get into that, but i got to find a thistle plant for that, and I have seen one somewhere. They're not hard to find, or pink flowers, pretty easy to find. Kind of makes me wonder what, what other kind of things you can get from them, but... I know there's thistles you can get, and uh, it's going to be getting dark pretty soon. It looks like I'm going to have to cut down a couple more trees, or cut some more grass. I was going to say cut down some more trees, but technically they're not trees, they're, they're grass. Okay, and also, uh, that's the second time I've heard that now. You can actually hear vehicles, like, outside the yard. I thought that was pretty interesting, the details they have to it. Uh, speaking of the crow, the crow didn't actually give me any issues, so it should be okay here. So I'm going to go ahead and grab the last couple here. That should be it for the walls, and it's just a matter of putting the roof on. The roof is actually made out of clovers, but I do want to get some sort of peak on it. Not that it matters, it's just looks, looks good. Okay, uh, a couple more blades and I think I'm done. A few more rocks along the way. Pebblets, whatever you want to call them. Uh, I do know to avoid that direction. <laughs> Learned that the hard way. I know there's spiders everywhere, and if you're not careful, they'll sneak up on you pretty quick. Uh, you can also, come on, thank you. You can also slurp the nasty water, but it uh, makes you hungry. But I try not to do that. Uh, speaking of thirst, I have got to get some dew here. So, um, almost time for night here. Let me see if I can see dew drops anywhere. Uh, you know what? I have these granola bars. I can't really describe how terrible this taste is. Don't, because I don't, I don't want to know. Oh, I found some more here. Yay! Grass everywhere. Now, if only my dad would mow the lawn, and I wouldn't have to do this myself. Right? And, I think... <gasps> I guess poor kid can't handle something like that. Needs exercise. Okay, go to inventory, we'll go ahead and eat one of those. Uh, did you not? Why are you not eating? Oh. This why? I'm not picky. Really? Huh, it's the first time I've ever seen that again. Alright, I'll go de dump these out here. Alright, so the walls are done, the door is done, uh, we'll worry about the mail mailbox later. Alright, so now, let's get a little bit of a roof put on here. Uh, let's see what we have here. Oh, we might as well go with, uh, here, the front door is there. Oh, I did this two by two, okay, then, uh, we'll do it the other way then. Go with that triangle. We'll do that. And that, flip that around, there and there. And then we do have, where are they here? Different ty types of roofs we can do. 
different shapes. We're just gonna go ahead with the, the, the standard slope roof. I will need sap for this. Uh, sap is fairly easy to find. You can get it on any route you see exposed. So, to me, this is similar to uh, stranded deep sort of building style. Come on, there we go. Except the fact that you put it in place. So I do have to get resources, I have to get some more grass, I have to get some more weed stems of course, clovers which are easy to find, and sap. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that together, and I'll have a nap and I'll see you in the morning. Okay, I am finally done. I had to go cut, it, cut down a couple more things, so actually I'm not done. I gotta do a little bit more uh, yard work and that it for the planks. Yes, it is for I should say the stems and drop that off there. And then go grab a little bit more grass. I have been really cautious every time the music changes like that on me and it really freaks me out because I've I've been chased by a few bug few bugs in this game already and it's not fun. I'll go ahead and do this. I'll probably get a little bit of storage set up. And maybe see what kind of other stations we can get. Another thing I did too. Sorry, I'm just really paranoid. I uh, actually managed to kill a gnat. I did get uh, some... Oh, that's not it. Gnat fuzz. And I got some raw gnat meat. Where is that? Yeah, raw gnat meat. Everything else is spoiled, so it should be pretty easy if I figure that one out. And there's a little, a little grass cabin. So I'll do that, and then that, and that, and we're done. So, let's go ahead and move everything over. Now, there's actually a relocate feature, which actually makes it really easy to move things around. Go over here, we'll move our lamp over here. Oh, I fell through here again. At least you can get out easy. Thank you, developers, for thinking of people with stupidity like me. I don't know why that opens in this. So, let's uh, put our old lamp in the corner here. Hopefully it doesn't burn down our house. Made it out of fresh grass, so... Should stay nice and hydrated. And grab the workbench. The same thing. And then let's see what we can get into next. What are we calling this one here? Actually, what I do need to do. Uh, may actually have to expand this place by the looks of it. It probably will, but this is just for a start to begin. Uh, start getting some better tools. Uh, close that for now. And see what is next. Um, oh, actually, we got some analyzing to do. Got that gnat fuzz and that gnat meat. I keep hearing this thing over here. And I think there's something underwater there, but I don't have any type of breathing apparatus yet. And that ant just scared me. Oh my god. Oh yeah, we gotta take the roads and spit with us too. Alright, so let's go ahead and analyze that. There's something else there. What was that? Science. Stuff now. Ah, oh, we got some brain power. Cool. We can unlock something else. Uh, grub vest, grub leggings, grub goggles. Yes, we'll get into grubs here in a minute. Oh, I can an actually analyze spoiled meat. I did not know that. Spoiled meat slurry. And they're basically like potions. They give you little buffs and debuffs and stuff like that. And then... Analyze this, and I think if I cook it, I can analyze it again. Just get some more science. So let's try that. And also use this before we move it. And I hit the wrong button. Research that, or cook that. And we'll go. And then we have a thousand here. So I think this should be the way to go. Uh, gets us uh, cookery and then we can make better better meals, but a smithing station to upgrade tools, but we need special things to upgrade, actually upgrade the tools. So, before we hang on to the science, actually what we can do, while we're here, I actually forgot about this, uh, but there's some raw science over here, and I was going to collect this on camera just in case something was waiting there. You never know. These things are usually a lot of science. Okay, well not that much. But we can unlock a few things. Uh, speaking of which... 
Let's see if we can peep a few more things over up here. Oh. Having a little peep. I see you. I see you too. I'm gonna need to water the grass around here. Okay, uh. Oh, yeah. I like being over there because I can just look for the lasers and I can find my way back. If I go the right way. Okay, there's the baseball. Points of interest, gotta love them. Grab everything I can. And then we'll look at some storage and I think we'll call it here. And then I think next episode. Oh, inventory full. Um, mm -mm -mm. Drop that. Oh, we're gonna analyze that actually. Not roast. And we can't analyze it. But we can't eat it. Just like a fruit pounder. A fruit pounder. Some interesting recipes over here. Or, uh, foods. And there's a ladybug. Can actually make some good armor out of them, apparently. What I want to see is that thing actually eat an aphid. Because that that's what they do, is they actually eat aphids, whoever the little chirpy thing is. Are you going to get stuck there? Oh, thank you, good pathfinding. Okay, so we have this. I was going to bring this cooker with me, but we'll worry about that later. So, uh, there is some storage in here. There's... It's okay. Uh, mainly you want to keep the ants out because you got food in there. They'll go into your storage and that is the long thing. And then over here we have storage baskets, storage chests. We saw the planks for the things for the planks and the other things. Acorn shells. I don't want to use my acorn shells. <sighs> I guess we'll do that. I don't actually use these ones. I have. It was the other ones that I made. Hearing things, what's going on out here? Did I build my house on the freeway or something? Who could have thought insects could be so 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 loud? Uh, that's not that's not terrible. Uh, let me get a few more of these together and then we'll see what we got. Okay, just about done here. Just got to make one more rope. Uh, I've been coming down here to pick up some plant fiber. I did happen to find uh, a couple of aphid honeydew. I can't remember if you can actually analyze these or not. I thought we'd go check it out. Uh, no, we can't. Uh, was there anything else we can unlock? Oh, yeah. I'll also unlock these ones here, the recommended ones. We'll go ahead and unlock this. And then we'll unlock the smithing station because we'll need it eventually. I'm pretty sure you find these out in the world, but I don't know if you need, like, upgraded materials to actually... Or upgraded tools to actually mine this stuff or not. Cookery... Nachos and Might Loaf. Yeah, we're playing this game is great. Alright, uh, I need one more fiber. Where are you? If I were a plant fiber, where would I be? Right there. Alright, we can go ahead and make one more rope. And then our storage is am I complete? Let's actually move this too. Weevil snuffling along here. Come along here. Gonna be high traffic zone. I have to set up a light here sooner or later. Okay, and then uh, sure we'll put it inside. Why not? What's the worst that could happen, right? No, the torch hasn't burnt the house down yet. Let's just let's put it there. Uh, hmm. I should have made a bigger house. Might have to do that next episode, maybe. Should be able to access that. Yeah. All right, can I extinguish that? No, I can't. Extinguish that, though. And there we are. I have uh, some basic storage for now. That's going to allow me to get some stuff in here. Can I, uh... Do I can shift all... Or shift click? Oh, yeah. I can shift click. That's great. All right, so that means I can get my inventory sorted. I think, uh... Uh, next episode, we might have to go do some grub hunting. Actually, well, we, can, we can do that right now, actually. Uh, do I need the workstation for this? Go ahead and finally make ourselves an acorn shovel. Of course, I need rope. I always need rope. I know I can uh, chop these bits down for it, but too much effort. 
I'm not going to worry about killing those things because I find their body parts everywhere, so that means the ants are doing their job. Hey, a dandelion grew back. Cool. I'll have to get that later. I'll we'll do a little bit of resource collecting off camera. So not what I wanted. And then, yeah, then now uh, I think the next one we're going to go to the hedge maze. Uh, if you look at the map here, there is a map. Uh, this is a fairly big size yard. This is actually a sandbox. I've seen videos of every. Well, not everything, but a lot of stuff around here. Uh, like the pond over here where the tree is. But this is where we're going to go next. There's actually a lab in this area too. So that's going to be our next step. But we're going to get to the spiders. But before I do that, I want to get into bow and arrow. But the arrows, you need thistles. So I have to find the thistles to see where they are. And so on and so forth. Anyways, so what was I doing? I was... Oh, yeah. Let's make it a shovel. Uh, acorn shovel, go ahead and make that. And I need sprigs, of course I do. Did I actually make it? No, I didn't. One, and two. And there we have it. Now I have a sprig shovel, and I gotta re reorganize my hot bar here. Uh, I don't know why this was taken off. And then a shovel we'll put right here. And then, now the shovel, wait around, and you'll see like movement in the dirt, there's actually grubs that you can actually dig up and kill them and then you get like, I hate to say it, cooking ingredients, the other things like armor, uh, I'm not going to say armor plating, but it's sort of like a leather, I guess you could call it the leather in the game, I have not seen any. Uh, let me look around, I'll be right back if I want to find one. I see grass moving. That's always a bad sign. A ladybug? Or is that going to be like a wolf spider? Let's go open the baseball and check it out. Oh, it's a ladybug. Cool. Uh, yeah, so I haven't really found any yet. I know they have been in this area, I've seen them before. I don't know, they have to be out at a certain time of day, or... What it is to them, or if I have to progress to a certain point in the in the game, them to show up. What's that? Shadow. Kid scared of his own shadow. What was that? Oh, that was the ladybug. I didn't know they actually made a noise. Well, I haven't seen any grubs, so we'll probably run into them next time we head out. So we'll call it here. But anyways, I thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to leave me a like. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Later.